I'll fulfill my oath and I will honor the Constitution. On January 20th, we'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. To all our incredible staff, supporters, cabinet members, all the people who've been hanging out with me for the last 40 years, God love you, as my mother would say, thank you so much. You put so much into the past four years. I know it's a difficult time. You're hurting. I hear you and I see you. But don't forget, don't forget all that we accomplished. It's been a historic presidency. Not because I'm president, because what we've done, what you've done, a presidency for all Americans. Much of the work we've done is already being felt by the American people, but the vast majority of it will not be felt, we felt over the next 10 years. We have, a, we, we have legislation we passed that's just only now just really kicking in. We're going to see over a trillion dollars worth of infrastructure work done, changing people's lives in rural communities and communities that are in real difficulty because it takes time to get it done. And so much more it's going to take time. But it's there. The road ahead is clear, assuming we sustain it. There's so much, so much we can get done and will get done based on the way the legislation was passed. And it's truly historic. You know, we're leaving behind the strongest economy in the world. I know people are still hurting. But things are changing rapidly. Together, we've changed America for the better. Now we have 74 days to finish the term, our term. Let's make every day count. That's the responsibility we have to the American people. Look, folks, you all know it in your lives. Setbacks are unavoidable. But giving up is unforgivable. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable.